Are you or someone you know afflicted with thoughts of learning guitar and becoming a musician? Do you spend hours a day listening to your favorite music and playing air guitar only to find yourself wishing that a real guitar would materialize and that you weren't such a pathetic loser? Well, I'm here to tell you there's hope. Trained professionals are standing by waiting for your call. So call the number on your screen now to speak to a professional that can help. But in the meantime, we are gonna check out the cheapest fully functional guitar rig for beginners. For metal, or should I say, for metal. Let's do it. All right guys, hope you're doing great out there today. If this is your first time here at my channel, my name is Kyle. What I do is I typically take all sorts of awesome high gain related guitar equipment, record it with a simple setup, and I give you the unprocessed audio on your end. And today, as we mentioned at the beginning of this video, we are taking a look at the cheapest complete metal rig that you can buy from Sweetwater. Right now, it's right around Christmas time, and chances are, if you're watching this video, you are thinking about picking up guitar and diving in for yourself, or you are actually shopping to pick up this stuff for somebody else who is looking to start their journey to becoming the best metal guitarist in the world. And the reason that I'm actually making this video is one of my really good friends, his daughter, who is just about to turn seven, is actually wanting to start playing guitar, and he was asking me what he should pick up for for a beginner rig. And since she's a little metalhead and these products were gonna be kind of relative to what I do here on the channel, figured I might as well reach out to my friends at Sweetwater and see if they wanted to sponsor a video and provide these items, not only for me to share with you guys here on the channel and hopefully help you in seeing what you can get for the least amount of money, but also helping my friend. And uh, we're gonna pack up this rig and we are gonna give it to his daughter for Christmas. So huge shout out to my friends over at Sweetwater for sponsoring this video, for sending these items out. I really appreciate it. You guys are gonna make somebody's Christmas very, very bright. And if you find that you want to pick up these items for yourself or for that person that you're shopping for, I'll make sure to link everything down below in the description of this video. Those are gonna be affiliate links, so if you click those links, it helps me out. And I really like that. So, for our cheapest metal rig from Sweetwater, there was one thing that I was focused on when I was picking these items out, and that is I wanted this to be a complete rig. Now, what does that mean? In my eyes, a complete rig means that you can use this for practice, both silently and playing loud. It's going to have everything that you need tone-wise in there, from clean to crunch to high gain. It's gonna have some effects for you to kind of get your, get your fingers wet. That's not the saying at all. To get your feet wet, checking out effects, seeing what they do and how you can apply them to the guitar, and also being able to record your ideas, to be able to record your progress. And this rig, is capable of doing every one of those things. Now, I will say there are a couple of cheaper amplifiers available on Sweetwater's website, but they are very basic as far as the features go, and the Blackstar is only $20 more than the cheapest amp, which was $109. The Blackstar is only $129, and you get all those features, which we'll go over in just a second. That is why I chose the ID Core V3 10-watt stereo amplifier. And then for the guitar, this is the Jackson Dinky Minion, and this is the cheapest, shorter-scale guitar available on Sweetwater's website and we got a shorter scale guitar a shorter scale guitar because this is going to somebody who's seven years old so this will be a great starter guitar for them and they'll be able to grow into it and grow out of it a little bit down the road but if you are a full-sized human being or an adult you can go on to Sweetwater's website or check the link down in the description below because there's basically a full-sized version of this guitar as well. And the only difference is that one has a tremolo, whereas this is a fixed bridge. So features of this guitar, it is a poplar body with a maple neck and an amaranth fretboard. Never even heard of that material before. As far as pickups and controls, we have two humbucker pickups, which are crucial when it comes to playing metal, especially that humbucker in the bridge. If you are a first time buyer, do not buy a single coil in the bridge if you're trying to play metal. You need these humbuckers to buck that hum. We've got a fixed bridge, which is going to be less confusing for a beginning guitarist, not having to worry about spring tension and making sure that the tremolo is set up properly. Down here, we've got one volume, one tone, and a three-way switch. 
The scale on this guitar is 22.5 inches, so it's three inches shorter than the full-size Jackson Dinky, and that's gonna make it easier for younger players or people with smaller hands and shorter wingspan. When learning the guitar, they're not gonna have to stretch out their hands or their arms so much, and the guitar is not gonna be hilariously large on them. And then we have six inline Jackson branded tuners, which I will tell you right off the bat, these are by far the weakest part of the guitar. So if you are thinking about getting one of these, keep in mind the tuners will probably need upgraded at some point because when you buy any guitar around the $200 price point, you're going to make a lot of sacrifices in quality and features in order to get that guitar in your hands. Which brings me to my next point. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do with a guitar like this is either take it to your local music shop to get it set up, or you can actually have Sweetwater set it up before they send it out. That is a service that they offer. If I were you, you're not comfortable going to a local guitar shop to try and ask for a service that you probably don't even really know what it is. I would say go ahead and have Sweetwater do that for you before they send the guitar out. That way you don't have to worry about it. It's ready to go out of the box. Now, why do I recommend that? Well, pretty much every guitar, whether it be super inexpensive like this one here or extremely expensive, they usually need some sort of setup tweak when they get here. Now, the setup is going to basically adjust the straightness of the neck. It's going to adjust how far the strings are off the frets. And most importantly, it's going to ensure that the intonation is correct. The intonation is basically the length of the strings and the ability of the guitar to tune properly. Now, I actually went ahead, I replaced the stock strings on this guitar and I put some D'Addario 11 to 49 XL strings on here. Anything in these lower price ranges are absolutely going to need a setup out of the box. So that is an, a cost that I would definitely factor in while shopping, setups can range from 40 to $60, depending on the shop, depending on what you have done, if you have strings put on or not, which you definitely should because the stock strings on here were basically unusable. Moving to the other side of our Sweetwater cable, which is included in this bundle, this is the Blackstar ID Core V3 stereo 10 watt amplifier. So this actually has two small five inch speakers in here. I believe they're five inch. And the reason for that is because this amp actually has stereo effects built into it. Meaning when you have a stereo delay or a reverb, it's actually going to basically ping pong back and forth between the speakers and give you a true stereo sound hitting your ears at different times. It's really cool effect, honestly, if you've never heard a true stereo setup and it just kind of makes the sound and the playing uh, a little bit more immersive, if, especially if you're trying to go for like more ambient stuff. But those effects are going to be really usable for the beginning guitarist who's just kind of looking to get into and discover effects and what they do to their sound. So they have four different reverbs, four different delays and four different modulations all on here. We've also got six different voicings going from clean all the way to super high gain. So you're basically going to be able to cover any sort of distortion level, but extremely important to, I think, pretty much everybody these days. Uh, there is a headphone out on here, so you are able to play this amp silently just using a pair of headphones. And there is also a line in, and that is for pumping music into the amplifier, and therefore you can actually play along with if you've got a metronome coming from your phone, or you're trying to learn your favorite band songs or something like that, you can put them directly in on this amplifier and you're gonna be able to at least attempt to play along to most of your favorite songs because I can't even play any of my favorite songs and I've been doing this for 20 years. So yeah, all sorts of really, really useful functionality for the beginning guitarist. And then if you're really kind of starting to get into things and you decide that you want to record your guitar, record some of your riff ideas, maybe record your practices to send to your teacher, you can actually hook this up via USB to your computer and you can record directly to your computer from the amplifier. It acts as an actual interface and all of the voicing, all of the effects, everything that's available on this amplifier and actually more, you'll be able to use directly on your computer and record it. And you are not gonna find anything else like that in this price range. And that's why I think that this is an easy pick for the extra 20 bucks over the cheaper options. Gives you so much functionality. So with all that being said, let's rip a couple riffs through this setup. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna box all this stuff back up and then we're gonna give it to our new guitarist and you guys are going to get to watch that.
It's gonna be fun. All right, so as of right now, I am on the OD2 voicing on this amplifier, which is going to be a fairly high gain setting. I am miking it up with an SM57. I have no idea how it's going to sound, but we're also going to hear some of the direct recorded tones through the Blackstar Architect free software that you're gonna use in order to control this thing on your computer. <laughs> So that is our first high gain setting. Let's check out OD1, which is a different voiced high gain setting. We've got Super Crunch. All right, Crunch Channel. clean and other clean all right i feel disgusting let's go back up into our high gain mode and let's kick on those effects let's hit that delay first i'm gonna go over to setting four you guys probably won't be able to get the stereo effect with the way that i have the mic set up but just know it's there That's a pretty juicy sound and delay. Let's turn that off. Let's check out the reverb. All right, so that's reverb. Who cares? Let's check out the chorus. I don't really mess with effects all that much, and you shouldn't either, but just in case you want to, they are on there. You're going to have plenty of options to kind of figure out what it is you like and how to apply it to what you're playing. All right, so that's pretty much it for the physical side of the amp. But I want to show you guys the software too because this is just really, really cool that this is included at this price point. All right, guys, so I have the Blackstar Architect software pulled up here. And as you can see, we've got all sorts of controls. We've got some pedals down here on the bottom. We've got some options over here on the right side. So at the moment, I have uh, the speaker mute turned on, which you can enable in the software. So when you play, it only goes into what you're recording into. And as far as this software goes, as we can see, we've got our gain and volume, but it opens up the EQ so we can actually adjust our bass, middle, and treble frequencies, which you are definitely going to want because that is mainly how you adjust your sound for guitar. And then over here, we even get a resonance and a presence, which are going to give you control over the really low frequencies and the really high frequencies. And if you're playing metal, those controls are almost a complete necessity in dialing in your tone because you want those extra frequencies. And then we've got black Stars ISF filter, which is essentially just a sweepable filter that controls how the mids sound. Down here on the bottom, we've got a tuner, so you don't even need to buy your kid a tuner, although you're definitely going to want to buy your kid a tuner. So moving on, we've got a noise gate, which is going to block all of our unwanted noise. That's a really nice feature. Uh, and then here are our effects that we just sampled on the amplifier. They're right here in the software as well. The really cool thing about all this, guys, is if you set up a sound that you really enjoy, 
you can actually save it as a patch and save it to your device. So all these changes that you made to the resonance, the presence, the, the bass middle treble EQ that you can't do on the physical amp, you can do it in the software and it actually saves those changes onto the amplifier itself. So I think that's really cool. It gives you more tone shaping ability. But finally, if we close out of this right side menu, this takes us into the cab rig light software, which is included with the ID core series as well. And what this is, is a cabinet, a guitar cabinet simulation so that when you're recording, you actually have access to a bunch of different cabinets and microphones that Blackstar have provided in the software in order to help fine tune your tone. <laughs> So if we hit that off axis button to turn it off, let's check out one of the different cabs just to show you how much you can change the tone just by switching the cab up. Let's go to 412 Modern. We've got all sorts of options to play around with in here. It's not overly like over the top it's not going to be like too confusing to somebody who's just trying to get into things there's always a learning curve but giving you just a limited number of options and basically telling you what they do is a really really nice touch for somebody who's going to be using a product like this and we are recording all this directly to my recording software that i use to record my own music and my band so if you want to use this to actually record over drum tracks and stuff in a program like reaper you can do that you can use this amplifier for that and that's why i think that it is just such a great value at that 129 dollar price point like i said this is a complete rig we've got our guitar we've got our cable and we've got our amplifier that also doubles as a recording interface for all of our guitar tones you're going to be able to cover a lot of ground by spending not a lot of money again the entire cost of this setup is 330 bucks before tax if you want to get the full-size version of this guitar it's going to bring it up to 350 it's only $20 more and that is basically the cheapest complete guitar rig you can buy from Sweetwater. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you are in the market for a new guitar, a new amplifier, or any guitar related accessories, head on down to those Sweetwater affiliate links down below in the description of this video. Again, I will have all the items that we use today linked down there. So if you wanna pick this exact setup up for yourself or for the person that you're buying for, you can do that. And those links help the channel. Thanks again to my friends over at Sweetwater. They are the best in the business at what they do. And it's easy for me to recommend you guys get your musical equipment from them. So with all that being said, I'm gonna get out of here and uh, hopefully I'm throwing up some footage of our new guitarist getting their new guitar rig for Christmas. So if you don't hit the like button for that, that, you have no soul. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Kyle here again. We'll see you next time. Get it. <laughs>